Good afternoon everyone, welcome back to Fisher Family Adventures. If you've never seen any of my videos before, I live down here in Southwest Florida on the Gulf of Mexico. I do a lot of offshore fishing, boat fishing, kayak fishing, land-based fishing, beach fishing, I mean, you name it. I love to fish. So if you guys like videos like that, please like, share, and subscribe. So if you're unfamiliar with grouper, they are a bottom feeding fish, especially here in the Gulf of Mexico. Now I know in some areas you can get them higher, higher up in the water column and you can troll for them, but that's not really how we catch them here. We normally catch them on the bottom in depths ranging from 40 to all the way up to a thousand feet of water here in the Gulf of Mexico. So grouper are primarily bottom feeders. So you want to get your bait as close as you can to the bottom of the ocean floor, pretty much, which is where they live. They live in hard bottom, on racks, on structure, on ledges, and potholes, sinko, sinkholes, pretty much anything that's gonna hold fish that are good, like snapper, you're gonna see grouper around here. So the different species we see here in the Gulf of Mexico we see red grouper, which usually live on hard bottom or ledges or potholes. Gag grouper, which are more conducive to fishing wrecks and big pieces of structure. Then you obviously see goliaths on wrecks too, but can't catch and keep them. So I've kind of left them out of this part of it. We don't really see too many black grouper, but I suppose anywhere you see a gag grouper, you could see a black grouper. Then we also have Yellow edge, scamp, snowy grouper. Um, I mean, I guess if you get a Kitty Mitchell, you're lucky enough, but those are more deeper water groupers and I haven't caught too many of them, but they are around. So yeah, those are the different types of grouper we see here in the Gulf of Mexico. Now let's go over my favorite rigs for catching them. So let's start off with our first rig and this is going to be a knocker rig. This is a real simple bottom fishing rig. If you don't know this rig, um, I would definitely learn it because you can fish on the very bottom up to about five to 10 feet off the bottom. So to start, you've got your swivel here and we're going to go ahead and tie a knot. So what I say about knot tying is tie whatever knot you're best at tying because if you try and tie a bimini twist but it's terrible it's not going to do as good a job as this clinch knot that i'm tying here so i say just tie whatever knot you are best at right so we've got our piece of leader now for grouper you can use anywhere from 25 to all the way up to 300 with a crimp leader i sometimes use a crimp leader if i'm dropping a bigger bait for a bigger grouper right but for this video we're going to use 80 pounds so we've got our swivel tied right here to our piece of leader. Clip off the tag end. Now for this video, I've got a three foot section of leader, right? You can use anywhere from two, three feet all the way up to eight feet of leader if you'd like. But generally if I'm fishing for grouper, I like to use a shorter piece of leader. So we've got our weight here. This is a four ounce weight. Now you're gonna wanna size your weight up based on how deep you're fishing, how rough it out it is, and how strong the current is pulling that day. So on average, I usually use three to four ounces, but I've fished all the way up to 10 ounces in really deep water. So we're gonna feed our weight through here. So we've got our swivel right here, tied to a piece of leader, and then our weight going through. Then we've got our hook. So this is a 5.0 circle hook. That's probably my preferred hook for grouper fishing. If I'm fishing for snapper, I'll use some smaller, maybe like a 3.0 or a 4.0, but 5 or 7.0 is my preferred grouper hook, right? All right, so we're gonna go ahead and tie our hook on with a clinch knot right here. Now 
There we go. Looks like our knot is tight. Got a little tag end to trim off. All right, so this is what our rig looks like right here. Like so. It is a pretty simple rig, but it is very effective when it comes to the profession. So it's just like this. Like so. All right, so our next rig is gonna be a three-way swivel rig. And you're gonna start by having a three-way swivel like this and this top loop is gonna to go to your mainline braided or mono. Then you're gonna tie your leader right over here on the right. And again, use the best knot. I mean, you could tie a bimini twist if you're really good at a bimini twist. I usually tie an improved clinch knot or a tuna knot. Whatever knot you tie the best, tie that. That will not break or come loose, okay? So now that you've got your leader tied on, I'm gonna clip off our tag end. And I'm gonna go with three feet of leader here for the swivel. Then we're gonna put a hook on here. Again, five, seven, maybe even a nine, nine out circle hook would be good. So we're gonna tie our hook on to the end of the leader. Trim off the tag end. We got our first part of it done, right here. Got through waist swivel, tied with leader to our hook. Then we're gonna tie our weight on. So what we're gonna do is tie our leader to the bottom swivel. Use another section of leader here. I usually make this one a little bit longer, probably about four to five feet. So we're gonna tie our weight on. Then we grab our weight. So this is an eight ounce pyramid sinker. You can also use um, standard sinker like this. This is a four ounce. I prefer the pyramids though. So we're gonna tie our weight on. Right, trim off our tag end again. And this is gonna be our rig here. It's really simple, but effective, and it shouldn't get you too tangled up. So this is what it looks like here. You've got your three-way swivel, going to your piece of leader attached to your hook, and then you've got another piece of leader coming down to your pyramid sinker. And this top part here goes to your bait line and you'll fish it like this or so. So the bait should float up, bait should float up and the weight will hold it down to the bottom. All right, so now we're gonna talk about my favorite grouper rig overall. And this might surprise some people, but this is the rig that I like the best and has found the most success with. So we're gonna start off with a swivel right here. 
One side's gonna go to your main line, braided or mono, the other side's gonna go to the leader. So we're gonna tie our swivel on like so. All right, we've got our leader tied on. Probably a section about three or four feet here. So then we're gonna tie our leader to what is called a ball sinker, right? So it's a, this one is a six ounce circular weight right here. I mean, they come in all sizes from quarter ounce all the way up to, I believe, eight ounce. And these I got from Tampa Bay Fishing Channel. I've been fishing them for a while now and I absolutely love them. So you've got your six ounce sinker here and then tied with a swivel to a hook. So the hook can move freely around. So you can put a, a live pinfish or a grunt on here and it'll still be able to move and maneuver around and get that grouper's attention. Then it's got a 5-0 circle hook here on it. And we're just gonna tie our leader simply to that. And I love this rig the most because for one, it, it doesn't get tangled, right? There's no egg sinker sliding up and down. There's no swivel with it. It, it rarely ever gets tangled. Unless like a blue runner hooks it or something and runs into your line. And it also, it fishes the ex exact bottom of the ocean floor, right? It's not gonna let the bait move around and groupers, as we know, they are on the bottom. So, yeah, this is my favorite and it's a really simple. You can get these jigs on tampavatefishingchannel.com and I will put a link down for them below. So yeah, those are my top three grouper fishing rigs down here. So let me know what you think. Let me know what your favorite rigs are if I missed one or if you think I'm completely off on what rigs I should be fishing with grouper. So thanks for watching guys. Please like, share, and subscribe.